Indian spiritual leader Sri Sri Ravi Shankar joining me. Uh, namaskar to you, sir. Many thanks for your time. Spirituality and science always goes together in India, and we have shown as a billion people prayed, our scientists have achieved the unimaginable. This is such a great moment for all humanity that India has today safely landed in on the moon. Yes. Why? Why you cleanly following? We congratulate all our scientists, all our scientists who have uh, day and night worked for it with such great enthusiasm and intention, and their uh, their sankalpa has become successful today. Absolutely. What do you make of the? fact that you know india is trying to get into the same realm as some of the more developed countries who've had a space race in the past and obviously have done a more than us over the last few decades but india is really catching up and catching up fast isn't it the talent was never the problem it was just about coming together and having a vision absolutely we have greatest of the talents there in our india and you know even in america i'm here in america even in nasa you'll see about 30% of people there are from indian origin so our talents are really really great and uh, let's congratulate them all and the encouragement that they have got from our government yes. and the people are really really uh, appreciated yeah so you mentioned everyone. you mentioned you're in america and of course uh, america is one of those countries uh, that has been a leader as far as space exploration is concerned now one of the things we are talking about is how the world views us you are a representative and, a, and an ambassador of india around the world do you think the way the world watches india especially in scientific fields like this is now going to change for forever absolutely absolutely this has really opened the eyes of the world that that has seen that india is capable and is possible and they do it we are doers we are not just talkers but we demonstrate mm. our skills our abilities yes uh, and everyone is sharing this i am here with so many and they are all sharing yes <laughs> so that's your team there with you yes so you all watched the landing together is it glued to your seats yeah everybody is really really happy we have been praying you know uh, success of any project comes from hard work and blessings and grace from the divine so we have been uh, praying i spoke to the isro chief also yesterday okay for the successful landing of the mission and you know um, so it has made it all possible so it's a moment of uh, gratefulness for all humanity so can i just ask you what is it that you discussed with the isro chief when you spoke to him yesterday if you could share a few words No, I just uh, told them we our prayers are with him, blessings and prayer prayers are with him. And he was returning from the temple with his uh, family, and then uh, and he was really really happy, uh, you know, yeah, to talk to us. Yeah. So there are some people. I remember when one of our scientists was also uh, caught on camera going to a temple when the launch was supposed to happen. Some people were like, "How can scientists be going to temples to pray for the success of a mission?" <laughs> What will you say to that? Because I know many scientists are speaking to us and they're saying we do pray because sometimes you do your work, but beyond that, it's it's out of your hands. But you can know, science and yes, yes, science and spirituality they go together. and those people who are thinking they are in the uh, they are 50 years in backward or even 100 years back that's when they used to see the spirituality from uh, from a, you know um cynical view point but today that's not the case spirituality and science have come so close yes yeah okay 
Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, okay. thank you so okay. much for your time and for uh, your words uh, for the entire country. I do thank you for making that time. Yeah. Jai Hind. Jai Hind.